Okay, um, welcome to everybody here. Um, let's see who is here. Mr. Ramirez, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, sir. And you? Uh, I'm, good. I'm good. You're good? Thanks. Okay, yeah. you have been working? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very yeah. good. That's nice. Are you tired? Uh, more or less. More or less. Uh, a little. Okay, okay, yeah. very good. Tonight, so, okay. tonight I feel strong. <laughs> Tell me. Huh? Tonight I feel strong to jet. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see who else is here. Uh, Miss Campos. Good evening, Miss. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, Miss. And you? Okay. <laughs> Tonight, I I don't open my camera because I was. How do you say me too? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have you have a uh, brush your your hair. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, Miss. Uh, let me see who else is here, Mr. Uh, Gaviria. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay, teacher. Ready okay. and willing. Okay, very good. You you're ready to, to for this uh, video conference. Okay, that's yes, amazing. Sir. Amazing. Uh, well, I'm going to start this class uh, tonight. Just give me a second. I will share the presentations that I have prepared for you uh, this date. Okay. Let me show you this. Okay, very good. Um, here we have the cover of this um, of this presentation. Um, first of all, uh, we're going to uh, see the objective. We're going to read the objective for this class, and it says, uh, "In this class, you will listen to whole people give some advice. Uh, you will see by plus gerund in context." Okay. Uh, that's the end of the uh, of this class. We're going to be discussing and, and uh, working on it. We're going to try to um, to see some examples, some examples using by plus gerund in different contexts. Okay, uh, let's start. First of all, I want you to uh, read this quote. I want you to read this quote and tell me what you think about this. Uh, the quote says, uh, the best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing, okay? The best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing it. Uh, well, who is going to be the first one in uh, giving his, her opinion? Okay. If you want one My minute. Opinion? Okay, Miss, go ahead, go ahead. In my opinion, I think that uh, if you want to do it, something, you need uh, to be calm, think, and take the thing, every, everything, um, uh, I, I know, I know. <laughs> um, 
be quiet, uh, be in calm, and think. After, do it. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, that's right. Yes, that's that's something uh, that that we have to take into account when working on something. Um, well, uh, sometimes uh, we as humans mean say, okay, I want to do this, I want to do that, I would like to um, have this, but we never uh, start doing the things. We never begin uh, working on a specific thing that we want. Uh, maybe, uh, for instance, if you say, okay, I want a new card, okay, but you are not saving money, okay? Uh, maybe you say, um, I would like to get a new job, but you are not uh, looking for, okay? Um, things like that happen. Things like that happen uh, always. And um, not just with those things, it happened with the small things too. Um, uh, well, let's see, maybe um, some of you will sometimes think, okay, I would like to learn English, but you didn't start uh, working on it. But now you are doing, you see the difference between that? So uh, the first thing that we have, that, that we must do is uh, begin doing, um, start working on, on something. Uh, well, that we have to, uh, we have to, to start a, a scene, but also a doing and working and developing the things till we get what we want. Okay. Uh, let me see, Mr. Ramirez, what do you think about it? Do you agree with this or do you disagree? Sorry, teacher, the, the connection is, is bad. So I think uh, it's too easy say anything that you can do it. But um, really when you, when you have to do uh, something, you have to show that you, you get it. Okay, okay, very good. Um, and, and something that it happened to you is that you feel more proud about you if you uh, uh, at the end say, okay, I did it, okay, I uh, buy my new car, I did this, I did that. So it's, it's very, um, <clears throat> very good, okay, the feeling that you have, uh, it's nice because you, you feel like Okay, uh, so I want, I, I had what I want. Uh, let me see, Mr. Gaviria. What do you think about this quote? What can you share? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I think uh, that the best day to start something is today. If you, if you never start, you never will finish something at you can do it but what happened is uh, a lot of people a lot of people like uh, uh, talking talking and talking and never and never stop to talking and of course never never uh, continue what i'm saying in that moment so but you when you see the goal and you start working right now probably you uh, you'll reach that goal as soon uh, you can do it yeah, okay. my opinion I, sure amazing amazing that's good uh, I like something that you said um, the best, uh, it, it's something like that, okay? Um, the best moment to start in the things is right now or uh, today, as you said, and I like it. <clears throat> because, um, yes, yeah, sometimes we have uh, the idea to start uh, doing something <clears throat> and we're going to start it in a moment. 
but why not working on it right now? Okay, why not? If I, if for instance, if I say I, I would like to save money, okay, uh, maybe I will do it. Okay, could be it could be a, a it's a possibility. Okay, and I and I say okay, I will say I will say no uh, money, but why not so right now? Okay, at least the 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 one thing. Okay, small things. We can start with it. And that's, that's applied to a, a, a lot of things in our life uh, that can help us a lot while, while uh, um, um, well, preparing some, some projects for our life. Um, let me see who else is here. Ms. Rivas, are you there? Hello. 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 Good evening. Yes, I was closing my door. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes. So the best way to get started is to quit talking and begin to. Mm, just like my partner said. Mm, I think this quote is for everyone who wants to get something different for their life. If you want to change how it's going or how you're feeling, you need to be work like right now. Be determined, be brave, be intelligent to make everything you want. Amazing, amazing. That's good. That's right. Okay, I, I, I I'm totally agree uh, with what you said because it's true. So um, that's that's all the 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 aim of this of this uh, quote. Uh, let you note that. Uh, the best moment to certain things is um, right now. Let's let's see, Miss um, Contreras. Okay, what can you tell us about this quote? What can you add uh, to this? I think so. Is is all a challenge because uh, it's easy to talk and only. Uh, the most people uh, like talk, but uh, it's very hard to start with something. Uh, uh, almost a little step, but we need to something. A start uh, and, and place to, to only think or, or or say, or someday I will, wherever, and just, just like that, and it never happen, never. We make the things happen. Okay, and yes, that's true. We keep in the same uh, way that we uh, throw some, uh, well, in a moment uh, uh, in, in our life, Yes, that's true. So maybe we say, uh, I want this, okay? I would like to have this. Uh, five years uh, uh, later, okay, in the future, um, the same person says, uh, no, uh, today, okay, or at least this year, I will get this, okay? Something that said uh, five years ago. Okay, why not start in that moment five years ago? So you, maybe um, uh, you have like uh, more time to do it or less time to, uh, as, well, it's less time to spend on, on, on things that we don't, we don't need. Uh, Mr. Lopez, your last one. What do you think about this quote? I think so. It's it's, uh, it's root teachers. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just talking and, 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 and the person and, and the experience. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, well, you have to suppose it. You can put it into practice. Um, and well, let me see. Um, let me ask you, I mean, uh, do you know who is Walt Disney? Do you know who is Walt Disney? Okay. Anybody uh, here knows who is Walt Disney? Nobody? Yes, I Who know. is Walt Disney? Walt Disney. Okay, He's the so, one who creates all the movies. Yes. The oh, okay, yes, that's true. Um, he is the, the, the ones who created company of, of Disney pictures. Okay. Um, so, he said this, he said, he, he used his quotes in a moment and, it's, it, and he said that the best way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Very good, amazing. We're going to continue with um, this presentation and we're going to start uh, with a topic that it says, maybe I should try that. Okay, that's the name of the topic. And let's start with um, this, uh, this content that is by plus year. Do you remember the objective? Uh, we said that we're going to be using by plus year in context. Um, here we have uh, an information that it says that a method of doing something can be expressed with a prepositional phrase that includes by plus year. Okay. The prepositional phrase is an adjunct to the main clause because the sentence can be considered complete without it. Okay. Um, if we notice this, if, if we, I mean, read this information where we can notice that we have two important things here. Okay. The first one, okay, it says that this prepositional phrase is an adjunct. What does it, it mean? The, it the, the internet connection is, is, is. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can solve it. I will try to solve it. Give me a second. Hi. Hello. Hello. Ha de estar arreglando el internet. Para... Yeah. Lo sí. más seguro es que lo haya reiniciado. Es posible. La internet. La verdad es que todos los internetes son así de feos. 
Yes, que sí. ¿Verdad? Yo soy claro y hace unos días cuando estaba haciendo viento ni escuchaba nada. Yo tengo los dos de Tigo y de Claro y ninguno sirve ni de los dos ni cuando lo saco uno. Hijo de nombre. Qué Estamos fregados. Yo tengo claro y sí me funciona. Bueno, en esta zona. ¿no? Es que tengo 40 megas. Tranquilo. Ayer, ayer ah, estuvieron chica, arreglando sí. la transmisión de claro. Por rato se caía. Sí, a veces tiene como su hora. Sí, me doy cuenta porque aquí mis hijos empiezan a agarrarse las mechas cuando tienen examen y empiezan a ver. Ok. okay guys. Hey, teacher. Hello. Uh, can, you, can you listen me better right now? Ok, teacher. A little clearly. Uh, ok, thank you. Uh, I will stop using my, my, my uh, camera uh, in order to see if it's working uh, better. This, I don't know what, what's happening with my internet because um, it's supposed that my internet is so fast, but uh, I don't know. I, I have to call the, the, the company. Let's see what is happening. Richard, you should try with your cell phone. My cell phone? Yeah, you are in your computer. Yes, I'm using it. But mm -hmm. then it's sometimes mm -hmm. I think the, the cell phone or the iPad or iPad works better than the computer because my computer, it works so slow. Really? Let me see. Okay. Well, I will try that next time. Because uh, the thing is, I have to use um, my, my computer because I have the PowerPoint presentation here. And uh, I'm, I am a project sharing my, my screen. That's one of the reasons why. And I don't have the information here myself. But let me see what, what I can do with it. Um, I, will, I will try it. Okay. Um, it's a better no, no, no put video teacher. It's better with all with all the video. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. So now, uh, well, here we have the this information, and it says that uh, we're going to use prepositional phrase. Um, and one, well, I was mentioning you that. There are two things that we must, um, that, that are important here with it. Uh, the first one is that the, preposi the prepositional phrase is an adjunct, that's mean an extra. Um, and the second one is that the sentence, the main sentence can be considered complete without it. Why? Because this sentence, it has a meaning uh, by their own. Let's see an example of it. Figure out this. We have the main clause and we have the adjunct. Okay, if we notice the main clause, it, the, the main clause, it has a meaning. And it says you can open it. Okay, you can open it. Um, if we notice there, we have a subject, we have a verb, and we have an object. And if we say, okay, I want to construct a sentence, that could be a perfect sentence, uh, an example of it. And uh, what about the adjunct? The adjunct is an extra, okay? It's an extra information that we are given. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Um, it's an extra information that we are given to, to the main class. Um, Check it out these examples that we have here. You can open it by using a knife, okay? You can open it by putting the string. Uh, you can open it by fitting open the end. You can open it by removing the wrapping paper. So if, uh, if we use, for instance, by using a knife, uh, it is a sentence or not? No, why? Because it doesn't have 
a, a subject, okay? It doesn't have a subject and also it doesn't have a, a, a verb because here we are using just a prepositional phrase uh, that's by using a knife, by creating a string. So it's not working as a sentence in this case. I don't know if this is clear, if it is clear, uh, this information, that when we use the prepositional phrase, okay, they work as an adjunct because uh, the main clause, it has a, its own meaning, okay? Its own meaning. Is it clear? No, teacher. No, not yet. Okay, we're going to see uh, some other examples of- Me it. too, not yet. Not yet, okay. Uh, we're going to see some other examples uh, about this and, um, and how we construct this kind of sentence. And here we have, uh, the first thing, of, well, I'm going to use, uh, uh, the market in order to identify all the elements here. Check it out this. I, in this case, is a subject, okay? Manage, uh, it's a verb. It can work as an object, okay? This part here, it's the main clause. Oh, that is the main clause. The main clause, it has a, its own meaning, okay? Uh, it's work as a unique sentence. Uh, for instance, I can say, I manage, I manage it, okay? Uh, I work, a, um, well, or, or we can say another subject, like it, uh, um, she drive it, she drive it, uh, he play it, okay? Um, could be like saying some other examples using like, give me a second. Uh, okay, like um, using a, an auxiliary verb like can, okay, you would, okay, you would, uh, a, 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 well, write it, you would write it, um, things like that. So. The thing here is to identify the main clause, a main clause, okay? And then we must use an adjunct. This is the important part in this kind of sentence. How we construct um, this prepositional phrase. Let me use uh, the marker again. I'm going to use purple. All this, all this is called prepositional phrase. And it says that we're going to be using this kind of preposition whole. Ah, we're going to be taking a verb with an ing form, okay? This is an ing form. And if I say he drive it by, okay? Can you think in um, in a word with ing that can uh, match with a sentence that I'm giving to you? Like if I say, uh, he drives drives it okay, by. Uh -huh. Can you think in a word that match this this uh, sentence? What could be an example of it? By running. He drives it by running. Okay, could be. Let me but write it. If you are saying that he drives it by. Okay, uh -huh. but we have to look for I a mean... word that matches that, the, the, that sentence. He drives it, okay? He drives it. It, it, I mean, by what? Mm. I don't know, because if I say 
something like swimming or running. It doesn't make okay. any sense. It doesn't make sense. Right. Okay. But remember that you can add an extra information, not just the prepositional phrase. If you use an extra information, you can complete that sentence. Think about a verb in, mm -hmm. in ING form. And also you can add an extra information. I don't know, teacher. Okay, what about this? Uh, I will give you an example with a different color. Uh, let me see. No. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. By checking the GPS. It makes sense with this sentence? Yes. Okay, we're going to put it here. Okay, he drive it by checking the GPS. Okay, so that's a sentence that we can uh, construct um, in that way. And let's think in another example of it. Um, let me see. We're going to use the following the following sentence, the following uh, statement, just give me a second, I'm going to use it text. Okay. He laid it by, okay. So think about another, uh, another um, verb with ing. We can solve this sentence. He played by. Think about the uh, um, in a verb and then add the ing. And if you want, you can add uh, an extra information. He play it by. I'm really confused. Uh, I, I have a mistake here. <laughs> Sorry, I have a mistake. Just give me a sec. Uh, the verb. Yes, the verb. It, it's it's uh, a it's a third person. Give me a sec. I will delete this and I will do it again. He play. Okay. Okay, guys. Mm. Is you said that you were a little bit confused about what? It's because, because the way I translate in my mind, it doesn't make like sense. Okay. I mean, I, I don't understand why is the what is the object or the function. Okay. Um it, the base uh the basic sentence in in when we construct in a statement, the base uh, the basic uh, elements in a sentence are subject plus verb, okay? Subject plus verb, mm -hmm. and we can add an object. Um, if I say he uh, speak, okay, that's a sentence. It's the it it has the, the all elements needed to create a sentence. Okay, in this case, I'm using he plays it. Okay, he plays it. Okay, um, it and why 
it's working as an object. That's what we're going to uh, construct with this kind of sentence. Um, if we say he plays it by, okay. Walking on the strip, sorry. Uh -huh. Walking. In the street. Like that, sir? Yeah. Okay. Also, we can use uh, some other examples like, uh, check it out this. Using, okay, using a, 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 a microphone or mic. Okay, or he plays it by using well, using um, a piano. Things like that. We can we can add uh, whatever thing we want because uh, in this case we are we we are just using a prepositional phrase. Um, if we notice the examples, so we I, I'm going to uh, delete all these ones. Okay. If we notice at uh, this example that we have before in the, in the previous uh, slide, check it out this. Okay. Uh, if we have the main clause. And the only thing that we are adding here, it's the verb, okay? The verb that must be in, in ing form. Uh, and then we just add extra information, okay? You can open it, okay? You can open it. How we, uh, what is the meaning of that sentence? Well, okay, well, that you have the ability to open it by, okay? And then we have a list of a lot of things that we can add by using a knife, by cutting the string, by thinning up in the end, okay? By removing the wrapping paper, all those are just an extra information, okay? And the main clause, the main clause here is just you, that is working as a subject, can open, that is working as a verb, and if we want, Okay, if we want to add extra information, that's going to be called adjunct. That extra information is that the, 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 the element that we're talking about uh, this night. That extra information, uh, it's about how we use by plus the verb with ing form. That's the aim, okay? How to use by plus the verb with ing form. And the main clause could be different, okay? Could be different, could be another uh, kind of sentence. Uh, but the adjunct must be always by plus a verb with the ing. Just in, in this case, okay? Just in this case, because after a preposition, we are always going to use a, a verb with ing. Is it clear what I'm saying now? Is it clear what I'm saying, guys? Hello? Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm kind of honest with you. I'm going to have some troubles doing this exercise. Uh-huh. Why? But... Um, because I, I, I don't finish to understand, oh, okay, okay. but I hope so. Okay, I will try to do it uh, uh, in, in an easy way. Okay, I will try to, let, let me, let me uh, just uh, tell you this and let me, and let me, uh, let me know if you, if you got it with this. Okay, here mm -hmm. you can use a, a sentence, okay? Then we have to use okay. by, 
Okay, this by. And if we use by, we are always going to use a verb like this. Verb with ing form. Okay. Okay, this part is clear, right? Yes. In sentence, you can open it by using a knife, okay? You can it's drive like a, it. Like a raisin or oh, like, like a form. Exactly. Check it out the information that we have uh, uh, in the in the previous slide here. It says, mm -hmm. uh, let me just delete this. It says, okay, a, a method of doing something can be expressed with a prepositional phrase that includes by plus a yearned, okay? Uh, the prepositional phrase is an adjunct to the main clause because the sentence can be considered complete without it. Let's see the information that we have here. How we construct the gerund? Okay, we construct the gerund using a base form of the verb and adding ing form uh, like this. Using, okay, putting, eating, removing. Can you think in another one? Yes, I can think, well, you can watch TV by using your glasses. Okay, by using your glasses. Okay, um, let's see another example. Can you think in a different one? Okay, can you think in a different sentence? Okay. Teacher, in my case, I don't understand the use by. By, by is, um, okay, check it out the information that we have in the previous slide. By is used as a method of doing something, okay? Uh, if we use by, is uh, how we do the things, okay? If I say, I drive or, or I can drive uh, my car by checking, okay? And, and giving a, a method of doing the, the, the first action. I drive my car by checking the GPS, okay? I can uh, drive my car by, um, well, taking some classes, okay? I can speak English by practicing, okay? Practicing with my classmates. I, um, I can watch movies by paying Netflix, things like that, that we're just giving a method, oh, okay? Uh, in this case, it's a method of doing the thing of doing something, okay? Of, um, could be like an answer of how do you do the things? Okay, how do you do um, a, something that you mentioned? Uh, for instance, I, another example could be like, I can attend the classes by using my computer, okay? Uh, those are just examples of how we use by, 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 okay? And remember, after by, this is the, the thing that we have to uh, um, memorize, that after by, we're going to use a, a verb with ing form that is called yeah, yeah. Uh, germs. Okay. Is it clear now? Yes, it's better. Okay, it's better. Let me see. Uh, someone wrote. Okay, he teaches it by using English, uh, okay, English Corporativo platform. Okay, very good. Yes, that's a good example, Mr. Ramirez. Very good. Um, Let's see. 
we're going to watch we're going to watch a video and um and then we're going to be discussing what a what she said about this topic. Give me a second, I will stop sharing and I'm going to use the dashboard because I, 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 it's not working. The PowerPoint presentation dashboard, let me find this. Okay, uh, pay attention to this video. Guys, can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. I do, teacher. Okay, very good, thank you. So pay attention to this video and then you are going to tell me what you understood about this uh, or the things that she mentioned. Hello, sometimes learning a language might be stressful, but you could improve by listening to music or by watching movies. Let's pay attention to the advice given and the following conversation. They might work for you too. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Listen to two other people explain. Okay, okay. Uh... I'm going to stop here because I have to uh, explain you something. And, and I didn't mention this uh, at the beginning. Uh, one thing that we can uh, consider uh, consider it in order to create this kind of sentence is thinking uh, in what could be an advice for someone else. And um, I tell, I'm telling you this because I saw in this conversation uh, that, for instance, uh, he mentioned something, uh, well, the, the main clause, uh, he mentioned something, but also he is giving an advice using by, okay? Um, and I will put the conversation here and I would uh, use the, the the marker here and, and we're going to find um the sentence okay where we use where we use by okay it says you could improve your accent okay you could improve your accent that's a uh, the the that's the main element, okay? That's a sentence, that's a complete sentence. But after by, we are giving an advice, okay? About the problem that we have before. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs, okay? Um, it could be in a different way if we want. You could improve your accent, accent by um uh, listening music by writing letters by uh speaking with uh foreign speakers um well we have different things that we can try different advices that we can uh, use after by 
Is it clear now? More or less. <laughs> more or less. More or less. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, something that I'm going to do is to pro, to give you a feedback in the WhatsApp group there. Uh, and I will try to uh, create a video. If not, I, I'm going to show you a, a web page where you can find a relevant information about this. Okay. Uh, how we use by plus year. That's what we are going to um, be, well, this coming, let me see, Friday, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow I will share with you um, the, tomorrow I will share with you the information about uh, the use of by plus yard. Right now I want to give you a space uh, in order to, in order, uh, okay, give me a second. I will stop this. Okay, uh, I will give you an space uh, where you can ask me questions about the platform, about the the exercise that you have there, uh, about this video conference, about the topic that we're discussing. Okay, so uh, if you want to know something, this is the right moment to do it. Uh huh. So tell me. Um, I have a question that is okay. not about the class or the topic. Um, just want to know about the homework. Um, yesterday you said we have two today, right? Yes. Okay. Have, so it's so if that... I work. Uh huh. Tell me, tell me. I will let you if I work like all night, I could make it, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's your question. If you want to, if if you can do it the whole, uh, well, during the, during uh, this night. Miss. Sorry, I I cannot hear you. Can you okay. repeat it, please. Okay. Um. You mean uh, that if you can do it during this night? Yes. Yes, you can do it, even though you have till this coming uh, this coming Saturday. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, to, to finish the. The, the the exercises, the meter. Okay, uh, well, after all, you can finish the whole course if you want. Okay, it doesn't matter. It, it's not necessary uh, to be telling you, hey, guys, finish the activity. No, you can work it uh, by your own. Carlos, please mute. Carlos, mute. Thank you. Okay. Um, what what I mean is that you can um, you can complete the exercises, the whole exercises, if you want. You can develop a till the final exam if you want. If you want to finish tomorrow, it's okay. Don't worry. But something that you have to keep in mind is that if you finish tomorrow, please attend the video conference because those video conference, those attendance comes at your final, um, at your final uh, um, uh, score or record, if we want to call it that way. Um, because at the end, um, the, the, the technical support is going to check, okay, this person complete uh, the 80 uh, percent of the exercise in the platform okay it's going to be uh, check okay but then he's going to be uh, checking the attendance of the video conference and he's going to see okay if these students complete uh, let me see 
how, how many classes do we have to attend to get the 80 percent um give me a sec um there are like four and four 16. Okay, that's mean that you have to attend at least a 14 video conference if you want to get um, if you want to get the 80 percent of, of of the attendance. If you don't get the 80 percent of your attendance, uh, you won't get your certification. Okay, if you lose your certification, uh, it's probably that you uh, won't. Uh, go to the, to the next level okay you have to repeat that level again uh, or in this case this level again okay i don't know if it's clear that because um, i've been asking you about that uh, about the the the, the homeworks that you have there but uh, the homework I, I, i'm not the one that uh, give you the homeworks because the platform uh, all the exercises that you have there, uh, the information has been created for you since the beginning. Okay, the information is there, and you can check those as exercises and solve it all if you want in a date, and it's okay. Okay, but the video conference are from Monday to Thursday. Okay, always at uh, 8 p.m., and you have to attend all of them or at least the 80%. Is it clear? Ms. Rivas, did I answer yes. your question? Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Are, yeah. I'm going to say goodbye because I'm really hungry. So good night to everyone. And okay. thank you for the class. Good night. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to see you next week, Miss. Uh, um, and, I, and also, I have to say goodbye because I have to move to a different group, too. So, uh, thanks to everybody for being here. Um, and remember to solve the me the midterm that you have in the platform. Uh, at least the midterm. If you want to go for, uh, so far for an H, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, but you must complete the midterm this week. Uh, well, that's all for tonight. If you want to comment something, please let me know right now. Okay, see you next week, teacher. Okay, okay see, see you. you. Thank you, teacher. Thank see you, you teacher. see you guys. Bye. Well, uh, bye. bye bye then. Good night for everybody here. Good night. Good night. Good night and blessings. Bye, everyone.